Well, hello everyone. Dan Cherry Garden here, back with another automation tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new coffee shop update. And the coffee shop update, you basically have four different types of mains, I guess you call it. You have, I'll use my mouse for this. You have your regular coffee. You have your coffee with milk, which is a latte. A latte. I say latte because it's funnier more funny and down here you have your iced coffee which is just iced coffee and then down here you have your tea and you may say okay this is a bit clunky it is very clunky but i mean to try to fit in a what is this four five six by one two three four six by six and you can reconfigure this differently if you want to use more machines less machines you can do that but if you remember especially if you're watching my series there is a card in the coffee run that coffee machines or any coffee machines I should say work 50% slower half speed so having one or two machines to supply this whole set you may run into trouble depends on how many customers you have if you're playing with multiple people you're definitely going to run out of coffee so having this works out so basically it all starts let's just do the tea first the tea is the easiest part down here you have your tea bag going into your combiner you have your teapot going to the sink the combiner combines the tea bag and the water into the pot you need to have a smart grabber here or otherwise it'll just pull it out right away you know how it works with same thing with pies and such so you have a smart grabber with the steep tea so the tea will steep right here pour along through and you're like do you need these many conveyors you don't you don't but i mean again we're trying to keep symmetry here and also this will allow one two three four teapots steeped because the tea takes the longest because you have to wait for it to steep M making it's easy it's tap 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 done you know very simple so this way you'll have four ready to go and then by the time you're serving your fourth one your next one definitely is going to be ready to go again you could double this up if you really really wanted to and basically all you would have to do is just run another segment of this um just over here so you're steeping two at one time, I guess, but I don't really feel that would be necessary. And of course, I have my teapots right next to, or my teacups right next to where the tea is as well, because you put those onto the table. Um, you could do it before or after, but usually I always do it after I put the teapot down. Now up here, you have your main coffee machine feeding into these two. This one's then going to feed from this one's going to feed into this one. This is going to be your basic coffee. Always have your smart grabber. Otherwise, it's going to pull empty cups. Here's going to be your regular coffee. This one up here is going to make your regular coffee. As you see, smart grabber again. That's then going to be going into this one here, which you can't see. This is a portioner. And then here's your milk bottle going into your milker, your milk machine, I guess. And that's going to be combining, portioning the milk into the coffee to make your lattes. Um, and then that would continue on. You don't need to have a smart grabber here because these will both equally get to it. Like this will get here and this will sit here. This won't portion anything without the coffee being here in it's instant. It'll instantly go um, from this. You don't need a smart grabber. If you have one, you can use it. It doesn't really matter. Here I have the cake stand in the middle and these two, the milk and the sugar. They're just on the edge here just for, you know. You can put these wherever you want, basically. And then down here, you're going to have your, your main machine going into this one to make your cup. That's going to go, again, smart grabber into your ice machine. The ice machine only needs a combiner. It's kind of awkward how this setup would be so smooth if it would just go like this. But you have to have a combiner here. So I kind of snuck it in here with a T. And that's going to combine it with the ice and the coffee to make iced coffee. But here you do want to have a smart grabber because the ice... Unlike the milk, which you can refresh constantly, the ice has this little, I don't know, thing on the top. It has to build up ice over time. So if you don't have a smart wrapper here, what's going to happen is your, your coffee is going to come right through here right away before this has a chance to build up. Or if it runs out, it's going to keep putting out regular coffee cups. And that's not really what you want. So without further ado, let's turn it on and we can just watch this uh, walk, watch it work. So you see at the top, it's going to be making your regular coffee. You're going to have your lattes coming out roughly the same time. Boom, boom. And then down here, your tea is steeping. It's quite good. And as you see, the ice machine is the one that takes the longest because these already have two or three. This one doesn't even have two because it takes time to build up. But again, once you get around and you have all four of these cards, you're not going to be just using iced coffee. As you see, here you go. It just takes time to build it. But once, it, once it, this backs up, the, coffee, the ice will build up. I think it builds up to a stack of four, 
three or four or five, something like that. So you'll be able to get that many cups out of it at one time. And as you see here, we have four cups or four teapots ready to go. And again, you pull these as you need to, and they'll continue to steep. Um, and they'll, they'll just sit here on the grabbers uh, doing just that. You cannot put, as of the recording of the video, you cannot put teapots inside of a prep station. So running it like this, where you have multiple ones like this, would be, I find, very, very, you know, very, very good. Um, as far as having these extras here, uh, this isn't really part of the automation. It's just showing that if you take all the cards, you're going to have milk extra, you're going to have sugar extra, you're going to have a cake stand extra. Uh, you just have to be aware of, of having all of those things. And if you want to automate them somehow, go right ahead. That video will be coming out a little bit later on. It's more so automating getting it to the table. It has nothing to do with this type of automation. This is going to be for the basic four main types of, of dessert, I guess, because this isn't coffee. But there you go. And my biggest annoyance still with this game is I understand when this was changed that machines can accept empty cups back. So if you take one out by mistake, you can put it back. I feel that should be a manual only thing, but I don't know how hard it is to code that. Because right now, you see we're backed up. This is going to run continuously. And it's just an annoying visual, in my opinion. But, I don't know. Will it ever change? Probably not, because it does nothing's broken. But there you go. We can get out of practice mode. You can take a screenshot of this if you like. So, to me, this is the most compact, fully automated, you know, four main coffee plus tea setup that I could figure out. Um, and when I say compact, I don't mean like, okay, well, we could lose a square here. No, it's it's six by six. That That's it. We have a couple empty spaces, but you know what? If you have a couple um, decorations, put, it, put a decoration here, here, and here, and then that fills out your space. The other thing you could do up here would be you could put a grabber from this one into this one because you may say, oh, hey, what happens if this one here spits out a full cup of coffee? It doesn't matter because this will go right through the system right into here which you probably you probably noticed that during the the practice mode there i just didn't didn't hint on it because it doesn't change anything doesn't break anything doesn't make anything not work there you go guys how to fully automate coffee your latte iced coffee and your herbal tea i'm calling it herbal tea i think it's herbal tea anyway guys it's pretty simple when you get when you have the right stuff and you need to have a lot of room. That's the biggest thing with this is you need to have a lot of space to automate all of these with prep stations uh, because your your coffee maps aren't that big. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. Much appreciated. And if you're enjoying the videos on my channel, hit that subscribe button. Take the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Also, head on over to the Ontario Outdoorsman. Link is in the description below. And I'll catch you guys next time.